Since the start of time, people have tried to weaponize everything, from burning pig bombs to explosive bats. But they just keep getting weirder, so let's get straight into the weirdest weapons ever used throughout history. Burning pigs were pretty gruesome weapons in ancient times. People would slather these poor animals with tar, oil, or some other flammable stuff and then light him up. It was a horrifying sight, not just because of the suffering of the pigs, but also because of the chaos they caused on the battlefield. So, how did they use these fiery pigs in war? Well, they mainly used them against elephants. You see, in battles where both sides had war elephants, like back in ancient India or the Mediterranean, burning pigs were like a last-ditch effort to deal with these massive creatures. Soldiers would just let loose these flaming pigs, often in pretty dire situations, hoping that the sight and smell of these burning creatures would freak out the elephants. Those huge, crucial to the army animals could easily lose their cool when they saw fire and chaos, and when those elephants panicked, they often went rogue, trampling their own side soldiers and causing total havoc in the enemy's ranks. It's crazy to think that something as simple as burning pigs could exploit an elephant's fear of fire and turn them from a powerful asset into a total liability. Wrist-mounted crossbows were clever gadgets made to hide and be used quietly. These small crossbows were usually a small frame you wore on your wrist or forearm. These sneaky weapons first popped up in ancient China around 400 BCE during the Han Dynasty. People like assassins and spies loved them because they could hide them easily. You could slip them under your clothes or armor, making them perfect for surprise attacks or secret missions. These crossbows had some good things going for them, like being easy to carry, quick to reload, and great for surprising enemies. But they also had limits, like not shooting very far or being less powerful than bigger crossbows or bows. As time went on, wrist-mounted crossbows changed, with different versions showing up in places like Europe and Japan. But they stayed a secret weapon for spies and assassins. Greek fire was like a super secret weapon in the old Byzantine Empire. It was a crazy strong fire that could burn even on water and stick to stuff, like the ultimate weapon for ships. Nobody knows exactly what it was made of, but it had things like oil, sulfur, lime, and gooey stuff. The Byzantines were super serious about keeping the recipe secret, and we still don't know how they did it. Back then, they used Greek fire mostly for sea battles. They had these special machines on their ships that shot out Greek fire of like superpowered flamethrowers. It could turn enemy ships into big, unstoppable fires. The Byzantines used Greek fire to fight off their enemies, like Arab ships and Viking pirates. It was also awesome for defending their city, Constantinople. People were so scared of Greek fire that they tried to copy it, but nobody could make it as good as the Byzantines. Even when they won battles, the Byzantines made sure to keep their Greek fire secrets safe. And guess what? Nobody has figured out the recipe even today. The Byzantine emperors went to crazy lengths to protect it, and it's still one of the big mysteries of ancient warfare. Beehive grenades were a scary weapon used in wars back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. These were basically hand grenades filled with live bees. They were made from a small metal or glass container stuffed with bees and a trigger. The idea was simple but really nasty, set a swarm of angry bees loose on the enemy. People mainly used beehive grenades to defend themselves. Soldiers would toss them at the oncoming enemy, and when the grenade hit, it would break open, letting the mad bees out. This caused chaos and panic on the battlefield because the enemy had to deal with getting stung instead of moving forward. A famous time when beehive grenades were used happened during the Russian-Japanese War from 1904 to 1905. The Russians, who were under attack from the Japanese, used these unusual weapons to fight off the attackers. What made beehive grenades really effective was not just the pain and confusion from bee stings, but also the fear they caused. The Puckle Gun, made by James Puckle in 1718, was a special gun from way back. You see, back in the 18th century, people were trying all sorts of things with guns. James Puckle was one of them. He came up with a gun that was really different. This gun had some interesting things about it. First, you had to turn a crank by hand to make it work, and it had more than one barrel. But what really made it stand out was the bullets it used. They were square. Can you believe that? James Puckle thought these square bullets would hurt people more, especially those who weren't Christians, like the Ottoman Turks. That's what made it controversial. But here's the thing, even though it was unique and had a purpose, nobody in the military wanted it. They didn't use it, and they didn't make a lot of them. So, the Puckle gun didn't become famous for being a useful weapon. Instead, it's known for being strange and for the debate about those square bullets. But that is it for today, so thank you for watching and see you in the next one.